Today I am going to make some washi tape. But I was watching a video last night by Lori Richardson Haley. And she started out using a magazine and masking tape and doing this technique. And she wound up with some beautiful washi tape that totally inspired me, Lori. So that's where I'm going with this. You want to watch this video. I am so amazed by Lori. She starts out with and works on a page and she gets to a point where she thinks she's doing horribly. Of course, we don't, but she does, but she presses through it. She keeps working with that page and she comes out with a beautiful page every time. I want to give a shout out to Lori's channel. And if you have not watched her videos before, if you haven't found her, go to the description box below, click on the link to her channel or the link to her video and take a look because she does beautiful, beautiful work. I'm going to get started now. What I'm going to do first is I have some white paper. This was is just paper that I got at the office supply store. It came in a big roll and you can see it's still kind of rolled up. I don't care for right now if there are wrinkles in there because I'm going to be painting over that and that will eventually flatten this out. I'm using up my craft paint. Some of these bottles like this black is almost totally gone because I've been using it in my fine liner, but I just want to get the very last of it out. The same with the white. I have some other craft paints that I just want to use up. I have two sheets of it, and then what I'm going to experiment with, after my craft paint is dry, that's just going to be a base, I want to experiment with my Inca Golds. I'm going to make some Inca Gold washi tape. Now I may be putting some fine line lines on there, some fine line drawings. I may be stamping on it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to go into fast forward and let's see what happens. <laughs> pages are fairly dry. They're a little damp yet, but that's okay because I'm going to be going over them with this Inca Gold product. I have two pages. I've cut them to about eight and a half so they'll fit through my Xyron machine. The paint is only there as a base. This will all get covered up. I just wanted a, a base for a second layer. And then I have the other one under here. I'm going to work on this one first and I'm just going to do the same thing that you saw me do in my trashy art journal. I'm going to give it a splashy coat of Inca Golds, not paying attention to what colors or any method to my madness. I'm just getting a metallic base on there. <laughs>
I filled my black fine liner. Now keep in mind that I want to cut this strip, which is very pretty, shiny, and metallic now. I just love this metallic sheen to it. And I'm going to, I want to cut this eventually into one inch or less strips. So whatever I do with my fine liner is going to have to be fairly obvious in a short space. To leave this like this because I don't want to get too much black on it. I thought about putting little dots on there, but I think that I'll leave it like this. Let's lift this up so you can see the shine a little bit more. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to let this dry and work on the bottom piece. Look at the difference. Look how look how it's changed from a of course, this is a different color, but from a flat painted piece to a metallic piece. page is dry. It's a little curled at the ends, but I'm going to put this through my Creative Station Xyron machine, and I think that will straighten out these curved ends here. So let's go ahead and do that. see how reactive this is to water after it's dried. I'm going to, yeah, see, that's very reactive to water. I'm going to take the rest of this and go spray some fixative on it because I don't want it to react like this. I took all of these into another room and I sprayed them with a fixative. They're not quite as shiny, but they still have a nice shine to them. I'm still happy with them. I'm going to peel the backing off of part of this. And put it back on this scrap paper. Take some water, and you can see the fixative will not allow that same type of smearing. So I'm going to continue cutting these. I have these strips. I'm going to continue cutting them, and I'm going to run this one through the Xyron machine and cut those.
we go. I have two envelopes of washi tape made with Inca gold and my black fine liner. I did have to spray it with a fixative, but that's okay. I'm very happy with these. Very, very happy with these. I estimate that I have about 20 strips of 18 inches long. So 20 times 18 would be 360 inches times 2 would be 720 inches divided by 36 would be about 20 yards. Just, I'm thinking about 20 yards of washi tape. My own brand, my own kind, made for just what I had in my stash. Now, Making washi tape certainly is not a new or novel thing. Mixed media artists do it all the time. But I had fun doing it this afternoon. It was a nice Sunday afternoon project. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. And I will see you on the next page.